Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the 7 deadly sins of beauty tag. Now, I don't do too many tags on my beauty channel. I don't really know why, I just don't seem to like the beauty tags as much as I like the kind of random tags, which I tend to do a lot of on my vlog channel. But, I really like this tag. I don't know why, I just like watching other people's. Um, and my good friend Miss Glamorazzi, if you don't know her then you are crazy and go and watch her videos, um, tagged me to do it, so I thought I would do it. So here we go. Number one. Greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? My most inexpensive is without a doubt the MUA eyeshadow and I have a few of these but the only one that I really use is shade 12 um, which is almost an exact dupe for Max Club. Now these are really really good and they're only a pound but they smash very very easily and this one is kind of half smashed but it's a gorgeous kind of brownie green duochrome really really like that and it was only a pound my most expensive is from By Terry and this is the only By Terry item that I actually own it's the Hyaluronic Face Glow so it's kind of like a primary type skin perfecter product but it's £44 so expensive but it is absolutely amazing number two, Wrath what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with and what product has been the hardest to get? I know exactly what product I have the worst love-hate relationship with ever and it's the Chanel Bronze Universal Chanel de Chanel, whatever, the makeup base, Soleil Tan de Chanel, there we go. It is a cream bronzer, really really unusual product, everybody raves about it. I've used it quite a lot as you can see, it maybe doesn't look like I've used quite a lot but this is quite a solid product so it takes a while to use it. Um, Sometimes I absolutely adore this product and I think it's like the best bronzer ever, it's really natural, really creamy, it smells lovely, it's so nice to apply, other times I just think it makes me look really orange and it's not even like time of year, sometimes in the winter I'll use it and it looks fine, sometimes in the summer I'll use it and it looks awful, I don't know what it is, it might be just the lighting or something but sometimes I hate it, sometimes I love it, the worst love-hate product and the one that was the hardest to get is Gosh Holographic Nail Polish, which is the only kind of solid holographic nail polish I think I've ever seen. And this is discontinued now, but even when it wasn't discontinued, it was really, really hard to get um, in Superdrugs. And I was actually sent this by another blogger, because I tweeted about wanting it so much, and she tweeted me back saying, I'll send you mine because it chips like crazy. So I'd been looking for it for ages, and then she ended up sending it to me. So it is amazing, it looks stunning, but it does chip within like three hours, so it's a kind of night out polish, I think, rather than a, yeah, I'm going to wear this all week. It is annoying, um, but it's beautiful. The next question is, number three, gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? And I have three for this. My first one is the same as Ingrid's, it's the MAC Tender Tone. This one is empowering, but I also have Tread Gently, which I tend to use a little bit more, I don't really know why, I think it's just because it's in my handbag. They smell like kiwi strawberry and they're just so, so yummy. Oh my god, I love them. And it's not often that MAC products kind of live up to the hype for me, but the Tender Tones totally, totally did. The next one is Soap and Glory's A Great Kisser Balm. And this is the, is it Juicy Peach? I think it's called a Juicy Peach, it's the peach one anyway. And it's the most gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good, it's just that like fake peach smell. I just love it. And then there's another product by Soap and Glory, which I'm kind of undecided about, but I know a lot of people would find this delicious, so I'm putting it in anyway. It's their Extreme Plump Sexy Mother Pucker XL Gloss, which tastes just like chocolate, like properly like cocoa powder, which I'm kind of funny about. I prefer kind of fruity scents for um, my lip products, but I know a lot of people would like this, and it definitely is pretty delicious. It tastes like chocolate. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. what beauty product, or number four, sloth, what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? 100% every time foundation primer. I really like foundation primer but unless I'm going out for like the whole day and I'm going to have a really long day, um, or I'm going out for the evening, I don't use this on a day to day basis, I'm just too lazy. Um, but yeah, foundation primer, this is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion in Brightening and it's good but I forget to use it all the time. Um, number five, Pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? And this would have to be bright lipstick, and in particular, my MAC Show Orchid, which is my most favourite lipstick. I don't wear it very often because it is quite bright. It's definitely a going out lipstick, but I find that bright lipstick just gives you, it makes you feel kind of 
a lot more confident in yourself. Definitely, I think, um, foundation as well comes a close second. Um, but bright lipstick for me, show orchid, and anything kind of bright red or mainly pink. I prefer pinks to reds. Number six, lust. And this is kind of random because it's not really beauty product related. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? And this is a difficult one for me because I don't really have a type. Like, I don't really have a type of guy that I go for physically. I definitely do personality-wise. Um, but physically, all of my boyfriends in the past have looked very, very different. Um, I think one thing that I do love is nice eyes. And it's not in particularly any kind of specific type of eye, like blue eyes, green eyes. Um, just nice eyes. Like, Mike, my boyfriend, has the most gorgeous big brown eyes. And they're just so lovely. And I'm going to stop talking about that now because it's kind of cringy. Number seven, envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? And I find this one really hard because I don't really get many beauty product gifts anymore, especially not from my friends and family. Okay, so my camera just ran out of battery. How annoying, what timing. Um, the thing that I most like to get as a gift, like I said, my friends and family kind of tend to avoid buying me makeup products now because they know how much I have and they kind of don't know what I do have, what I don't have, what I like, things like that. But I do love getting perfume as a gift, and I think Alison, or Amory, it's my friend as well, she said this in her tag, because it's not really something you tend to buy for yourself as often as beauty products, I don't think. And perfume is just really nice, like with a nice decorative bottle and stuff, I think it makes a really nice gift. That is it for my seven deadly sins of beauty tag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to do one yourself if you make videos and leave it as a video response or write in the comments if you don't make videos, if you want to answer any of the questions, that would be cool. Because like I said, it's one of my favourite tags, like I really have enjoyed watching everybody else's. Um, I tag, I'm trying to think who hasn't done this, I tag Sprinkle of Glitter, Zoe from Zoella, um, I tag Tanya Burr, Pixie Too Woo, I don't think she's done it. I know Ingrid and Alison have both done it. And I also tag um, a girl who I recently discovered called Clothes and Curls, who's called Maddie. And that is it. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Can't wait to see your videos if you make a response. And I'll see you later. Bye!